Horse-drawn carriage rides were suspended for eight hours today in Savannah because of the sweltering temperatures. And News 3 has learned another suspension will be put in place tomorrow because of the heat. News 3's Trish Rilliford spoke with the city and a, a local carriage business about the ban. She is joining us live now from downtown Savannah with our top story at 6. Yeah, you won't find any horses on Savannah streets until 7 tonight. It's just too hot and leaders don't want to take any chances. This is Bo taking a day off with a trip to the spa, you might say. And this site could become the norm if temperatures across Savannah continue to swell above 95 degrees. Carish tours of Savannah took News 3 on a behind the scenes look inside their stables, a day when the horses have been ordered off the streets. When they're not on the streets, they're back here in the barn and we have a full staff of people that uh, take care of them. Well, on a normal day, Kara Marshall says staff members are up at 5.30 a.m checking on the horses, bathing them, and getting them ready for work. When we are out on the street doing tours, at the end of every circuit, the horses' temperatures are taken and recorded. Um, we are also looking for any elevated respirations that they might have. On Tuesday, Savannah City leaders announced that all horse-drawn carriage tours would be suspended on Wednesday for eight hours because of another day of sweltering temperatures. We were a little caught off guard uh, with the suspension that was um, put out yesterday as we have been operating in complete compliance with the heat ordinance. Um, no violations by any carriage tour company at all during this heat wave. We were operating over the weekend again in, in compliance. We decided that we trusted the future weather predictions that again we would have that continued high heat. What is it the fourth day in a row I think and the city said you know what we're going to put this out and we're going to be a little more proactive and, and take this. So it wasn't because of a backlash from the public. No there was no backlash from the public at all. And another suspension now in place for tomorrow from 1 until 4 p.m. Live in Savannah, Trish Williford, WSAV News 3.